think they all need to be explored in their own merit because some people get really excited about what we call CSAs or community supported agriculture um, kind of started in Japan, very big in America. Um, but the, 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 the main gist of it is that you partner with your farmer and you pay a membership every year in order to get a percentage of the yield. I like this model because you're partnering with the farmer uh, and it moves away from the model of buying produce by the kilo. So I hate when I see people saying that they have a CSA and they sell in subscription boxes because the subscription boxes with two kilos of carrots and five kilos of this and 20 kilos of meat for X amount of dollars is not a CSA. A CSA is mm-hmm. when someone, that's a subscription model and it's basically like a food box on subscription where a CSA at its true form is when you give your money to the farmer and you say, if you get flooded this year and there is no yield, I get zero kilos of produce. I'm growing this for Bob, Mary, Jeff, Anderson, like all these kind of people, with two mushrooms or 20 mushrooms because it's a percentage of how much was picked that that round. So like if 20 head of cattle went to market today and you've got 100 members, then that 20 head will get distributed by 100. If one goes, that gets distributed by 100. One thing I love about it the most is that the farmer gets the money first. And I really hope that I sell it comes from scarcity. And it's like, I need 12 potatoes to make my dish work. You know, so we haven't really worked out the whole share economy or the the parts per. So that's true CSA. 